Oh yeah, look at that, katsu sauce. And I'm gonna have it with rice in there. Lovely looking Japanese rice, right in my mouth. Before we start the video, I have merch. Links on the description below if you want these bad boys. If you tag up JDZs on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, I'll give you a shout out. Something that's great for traveling and vlogging. But yeah, cut my merch, guys. Hey guys, this is JD's Eats. Come on, let's eat some Yumi Katsu at the Ghost Kitchen. Let's get it. All right, guys, we got this in the bag at Yumi Katsu. It's only for pickup, guys. It's really freezing cold right now. And I'll see you guys when I'm at home eating this bad boys up. Let's get it. Many unbearable hours later. Hey, guys. JD's Eats and today we're doing another food review at uh, Yumi Katsu in Winnipeg known for their Japanese katsu, a ghost kitchen. What katsu basically is, it's basically like a deep fried meat like with mostly deep fried pork, chicken, tofu, and shrimp. And today I got myself some mixed katsu. So look at that guys. Can you see that guys? Look at that presentation. Oh my god, look at that. So basically, I think this is the katsu sauce in there. Also some wasabi. And then we got some half order of the tenderloin. And this is a full rack of the pork loin. And a piece of shrimp ebu. And some nice looking Japanese steamed rice in there. I really love Japanese steamed rice. And then here, we got some salad in here to put with. I think this is the sauce for the salad. And then we got ourselves some miso soup, I believe. And then some tata. Tata sauce in there mmm can you smell that guys but anyway just please make sure to support your local businesses and always remember to give thanks to Yumi Katsu and guys I can't wait to put all these food right in my mouth right here ha! and guys let's give this bad boys a taste let's get it all right, guys, I don't even know where to get started. I think I'm gonna start with this half of this pork tenderloin. Look at that, look at that pork tenderloin. It looks juicy and moist. And look at the breading, panko breadcrumbs, fresh. I think we put in this katsu sauce in there. Oh yeah, look at that, katsu sauce. And I'm gonna have it with rice in there. Lovely looking Japanese rice, right in my mouth. Mmm, love that flavor, the breading. I think panko breadcrumbs and then some eggs in there. Perfect to put it with onto this pork tenderloin. Look at that. Love the texture of it. And it feels clean and fresh. And wow, this rice is really good. It would be nice if it's very fresh if I eat this right off the bat. But since I drove like half an hour, it would be as fresh. But still, the flavor is there. Wow, I love the tenderloin. Mm. Alright guys, we're gonna try the pork loin. I don't know what are the differences of the pork tenderloin and the pork loin itself But there's one way to find out and we're gonna dip it with the katsu sauce right there and some tartar sauce Put that all in pork and let's get some rice. Let's take a little piece of rice because this rice kind of small Wish they could have more rice in there it would be nice. But anyway guys Mmm, that's so good. Pretty good, simple Japanese meal. Just a katsu and the rice, fried pork and rice. And the differences between the pork loin and pork tenderloin is the texture. It's more softer than the tenderloin, in my opinion. But pretty much they're all similar. It's just the texture. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Amazing pork loin. Mmm. Let's yeah, get into this ebi katsu, which is shrimp tempura in katsu. Look at that, guys. Nice breading in there. Homemade. And we gotta dip it in its katsu sauce. This is a really sweet katsu sauce. And we're gonna try with the tartar sauce. Tartar! Oh, yeah. 
Mmm, wow, really, really good. Strong breading in there, and it goes well with the shrimp and the breading. Wow, I wish I could have more of these shrimp. Instead of one, they should have like at least two to three pieces of the shrimp here for the mixed katsu. But other than that, this is so good. I'm enjoying the simple meal, simple dinner on Sunday. Alright guys, we're gonna try another pork loin here. Oh yeah, really soft. I think that tenderloin is more tender than the pork loin. I thought the pork loin would be tender too, but tenderloin is more tender. Oh yeah, I love the sweet katsu sauce with the sesame. Wow, this is pretty good. Bloody good. Feels like I'm in Japan right now, guys. Ah, yeah. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Alright, we're gonna try with this sauce in here. For the salad. A dressing or something. Japanese dressing. And look at that. Gotta mix them. It absorbs that dressing to the cabbages. Oh my god, this is good. This is so good. I bet this is fresh. Oh yeah, this feels healthy to me. I think Japanese food is healthy, but yeah, love this simple Japanese meal for 25 bucks. Really good. All right, we're gonna try this miso soup, I believe. Look at that mis miso soup, some sour soup. Love that clear, thick soup in there. I think it's perfect to put on the rice and then we just have the katsus in there. So there's other katsu like tofu, chicken, and I believe that's it. I wish that they have a vegetable katsu, that would be nice too. But yeah, I would order the chicken katsu, but since I'm driving all the way home, it won't be as fresh as anymore, it'll be dry by then. So that's why I decided to do the pork loin. It'll taste better, even though it's not as fresh as right off the bat, like right over there. But yeah, we're putting miso soup in here. You know what's the best idea? Oh yeah, we'll put tartar sauce. We'll have the tenderloin instead. The last one, I think my mom and my sister liked it. Here we go. Throw a miso soup here. Well, I think I just got the breading. Really good, really good. Have the shrimp in here. Wish they have two to three shrimps. Would be nice. Cause I think the shrimp is a highlight here. But for me, the pork loin is a highlight. Both the loins, tender and loin. Mm. Loin here, nice and beautiful loin in there. And then we got some wasabi. I didn't know they got wasabi. Mm, wow, that's amazing. Feel the, the kick of that wasabi. Feels like a chicken texture to me, but it's pork. Oh yeah, cheers. Mm, oh yeah, getting ourselves a miso soup with some onions in there, little onions. I think it's best to just drink it like this. It's hard to use the spoon there. I barely get any soup in that spoon. Mm, sounds refreshing. And let's have some salad in here. Cabbages and some dressing. Oh yeah, right in my mouth. Mm. All right, guys, what I think about Yumi Katsu's the mixed katsu platter, which is basically half of those pork tenderloin, full pork loin, ebi katsu, which is basically shrimp, one piece, with rice, salad, tartar sauce, katsu sauce, and then the miso, or the katsu itself. It's so crispy and crunchy. Love the breading, it's pretty flavorful, which is basically flour and egg, homemade. And the pork loin and pork tenderloin are kind of similar with the texture, but I believe the pork tenderloin is more softer texture than the pork loin. Even though I said earlier the pork loin is more soft, but now it's the pork tenderloin that's more soft. And they're really moist and juicy. I wish I could have more of those shrimp katsu, the ebi one, and as well the rice, because as Filipinos, we love to eat our rice. But I think you can get extra rice, I believe, which still pretty works, but would nice to put it all in one meal instead of the add-ons. And then the miso soup, kind of nice too. Would love if it's fresh, you know, but I jump all the way from Lausanne all the way to the other side, all the way home, so it wouldn't be as fresh as anymore. It would be nice to eat it fresh right off the bat, but unfortunately, it's only a takeout pickup because it's a ghost kitchen. But other than that, it's really good, like all around meal in there. But I would recommend you guys try them out if you love Japanese food, like katsu. It's a really good, simple meal for dinner on a Sunday night. But anyway, guys, just please make sure to support our local businesses and always remember to give thanks to Yumi Katsu. And guys, that would be it for the video. If you do enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like and you please make sure to smash the subscribe button share this to anyone and comment for any suggestion guys can we hit 5k subscribers can we do it and guys jd seats and guys see you guys next video bye